Hey, what's going on tribe? It's Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So guys, um, it's been a few days and I've been hella busy, so I um, haven't managed to squeeze in a reading for you guys to see what's popping in the collective. So I've got some free times of just chilling in the park. So I thought, yeah, let me hit you guys up with a reading. Um, so it's gonna be a general reading um, for all the star signs. Um, it's gonna be a timeless reading. So when you come across this video, it's for you. Um, and if any of you are interested in a personal reading, um, you can send me an email or send me a DM on Instagram. And if any of you are interested in any distance Reiki healing to keep your sh help you um, keep your chakras in line, you can holler at your boy, um, qualified Reiki master. Right, so let's see what's popping in the collective today. Hope everyone enjoyed the super moon um, and the full moon that was yesterday as well. The energies have been really weird, man. Yeah hard to stay grounded um, and trying to stay hydrated is just a bit mad right now so let's see what's popping in the collective <clears throat> so the first card you've got is medicine woman and the card says you are a channel for divine healing power so some of you um, are healers and you may not know it so if you're drawn to um, the mystical arts like um, crystals and stuff um, most people that watch my channel anyway are on their um, their inner journey anyway so um, you may want to check out um, becoming a Reiki master um, angelic Reiki um, other healing crystal healing sound healing um, color therapy is also good I, might, I may check that out myself um, but yeah you're um, a channel as well um, so I would definitely recommend checking out some um, Reiki videos on YouTube to get an understanding of um, how to channel energy um, because you don't actually need to be qualified but being qualified helps you get a better understanding of what you're actually doing with the energy um, it's just opening up your chakras and then just channeling the universal energy um, into somebody plants animals um, and people um, and one other in one other tip that I will give you um, any physical problem starts off as an energy blockage so um, once you heal the energy blockage you the physical problem will start to subside um, so <clears throat> yeah some of these are also being called to drink more water as well and um, go outside to get grounded and um, some of these may also have connections to South America and the native the natives the natives have been coming up I've, I've definitely had past lives in um, South America because that come up keeps coming out in the past life readings as well um, yeah, so just moving on um, and the next card is inner wisdom and then the card says you know what to do trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay um, so there's certain situation certain situations that you know what you need to do you need to trust your intuition and take um, appropriate action um, <clears throat> your <clears throat> your intuition will never lead you astray um, sometimes it's a bit hard to um, dif dif differentiate is that the word differentiate between head over heart kind of feeling um, so yeah if you're f struggling with um, making a decision whether it's head over heart um, kind of just get centered um, try to calm your mind and then you'll get the answers that you need um, and I'm also getting some of these may have come on your period as well if you're a female um, <clears throat> some of you you guys spirit animal is a owl as well just so that you guys know some of these may need to do work on your heart chakra as well is what I'm getting <clears throat> and then the next card is unconditional love and then the card says love yourself others and every situation no matter what the out, outward appearance appearance may be um, so yeah in, in any situation that you're having to deal with um, try and look at it through loving eyes and try um, <clears throat> yeah try and look at the, any situation through loving eyes and work through your heart chakra um, if people do you wrong it's just from their level of consciousness so if people are being bad-minded to you and um, obviously if people are being abusive to you and stuff then that's a no-go that's a red flag you need to cut that off um, but yeah if people are being bad to you 
in certain ways or talk in a certain way that's just a reflection of how they are internally it's nothing against you and to not take it personally um, some of you may need to clear your aura as well do some cord cutting some of you use your auras are looking a bit bit musty and dusty um, spiritual hygiene is very important at the, these times as well um, and the whole um, <clears throat> Some, what also I'm getting is some of these may be trapped in your lower chakras um, the earthly chakras the root sacral and solar plexus um, and a lot of the masses should I say they get caught in the lower three chakras and they don't turn their consciousness tends to stay in the lower three chakras so survival pleasure and um, like willpower should I say um, for the lower three um, but it's about trying to raise your consciousness, raise your vibration to work from your heart chakra. Your heart chakra is where the, the human and the divine meet, as I say it. Um, yeah. So let's see what else is popping. I do love these cards. I'm getting such a nice feeling from these cards, man. And the energy, the energy right now is just really cool. Got the birds flying around and shit. Um, and then the next card is <laughs> body of water. And then the card says, spend time near water, such as lakes, rivers, or oceans to recharge your batteries. Um, so yeah, you've been called to, um, some of these may be water signs is what I'm getting. Cancers, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, and you may get recharged by being um, around water. So sitting near lakes or rivers or ponds just to recharge. Um, or also, um, some of these may need a healing bath as well. So add some um, pink Himalayan salt. It doesn't have to be pink Himalayan salt. Salt, um, sorry. <laughs> um, just add some pink Himalayan salt or rock salt to your bath um, to help cleanse your aura and your energy field. And also some of these um, are also not also not some of these, but you're also being called to drink a lot of water and stay hydrated as well. Because the new en the energies that are coming in, um, the body has to readjust to the energies, um, and we're like seventy percent water. So if you're walking around dehydrated, the the um, energy is going to become stagnant. Um, so yeah, the more hydrated you are, the energies can just flow through you, and also staying hydrated helps to flush out toxins as well from the body. Um, let's see what else is popping, and then the next card is past life, <coughs> um, and then. The card says this situation involves your past life memories so you may be in a situation that involves a past life um, or you may be experiencing things from your past life um, so maybe you may have come across someone um, who I'm getting you've met someone or are gonna meet someone from your past life um, that has lessons to be learned in it um, and doesn't try not to look at things as a positive or a negative um, because everything has lessons to it there is no good or bad in the universe there's only um, is it points of view I think it's points of view I can't think it's not points of view but um, just where someone's coming from if that makes sense um, yes murdering someone is that considered bad but um, yeah some people have to go through certain lessons in incarnations to help their soul's evolution um so yeah if you're ex yeah you you've been, there's something that's coming up uh, but you're in a situation um or you're going to be in a situation that involves past life memories um some of you may be connected to um egypt as well is what i'm getting and the card is isis Let's see what else is popping. And then the next card is purification. And the card says it is time for you to for a cleansing, detoxification of your body and mind. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, drink a lot of water to flush out your system. Um, <coughs> you, some of you may be being called to do a, f a water fast um, or a smoothie fast just to just cleanse out the system. It's always good now and again. Um, I've also been considering to do um, a little detox myself actually um, yeah just to give the body a flush now and again um, just to give it a whole reset <coughs> um, just to restart 
and also when you're on um, I have a water fast to yeah I prefer water fast because it gives your whole body a rest um, and f uh, one um, fast that I do know um, check out the lemon lemon detox I think it's lemon detox yeah um, when I'm on my lemon detox um, yeah you go for like 10 days without no food just the maple syrup and lemons um, it gives your whole body a reset completely it's great 10 day and it comes with a little book and to explain um, to guide you through this so I do recommend that it's a bit expensive but you can't put a price on your health as I say I like to say <clears throat> so yeah you're being called to have a purification some of you may need the de um, a detox from social media um, and other forms where you're just getting taken in information and watch what you're taking in man um, the more conscious you become you start becoming more aware of what you're putting in your body and your surroundings and what you're absorbing so yeah um, be mindful as well some of these may be very sensitive at this time and then the next card is compassion and then the card says release judgment about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone <coughs> um, so yeah like I was saying before in the other um, the unconditional love card um, yeah you've got to be compassionate to people as well um, because some people um, <coughs> are only operating from their experience so if they've had a rough upbringing or had a traumatic childhood or just been through a lot of trauma um, their reaction to things are going to be totally different to someone who has less trauma or has a different um, has, has had different experiences should I say um, so yeah you've been called to show compassion and be compassionate to the masses as well um, yes they're taking their sweet time <clears throat> but um, and also yeah be compassionate to yourself like <clears throat> um, Yeah, sometimes you want to go, 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 do things, do things, get things done. But sometimes your body is just like telling you to rest. <coughs> and showing yourself compassion is a, som a form of self-love as well. So you may be being called to do some self-loving. Um, just, yeah, just take it easy. Be compassionate to yourself. Be kind to oneself. Because um, this earthly experience isn't... Um, you've taken a big task, yeah? So if you're feeling um, really tired and stuff, rest don't keep doing it man I've been wanting to do stuff and get stuff done but I just ain't had the energy to do it so it's like yeah I'm just gonna just just go with the flow the energy levels that I've got I can do um, as much as I can man before I used to keep going 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 and burn myself out and it's like nah man <clears throat> and be compassionate with yourself as well um, and don't judge yourself um, if you're feeling really tired and shit just go with the flow um, also um, if you feel that some of you are doing a lot of energy work in the astral realm as well so if you're waking up tired and going to sleep tired it's because you're doing a lot of work in the astral realm and um, most <coughs> um, energy workers light workers um, you're actually changing the world if you didn't know that um, so be very compassionate with yourself when you think oh yeah I ain't got this done I ain't got this that done you're actually getting more done you're helping out a lot more souls and a lot more than just the physical realm so keep that in mind yeah gang and then the next card is guiding children and then the card says you you are good at helping count helping counseling and healing children use your skills to help children now so some of you are being guided to help children some of you may be may become teachers or being called to um, become teachers um, that's one of my callings as well um, some of these may be getting pregnant or are pregnant or have just had a child. Um, some of these are also being called to work with young adults because young adults are needing a lot of guidance at this time. Because um, I call them like the lost generation. You have the 80s and 90s and then the 2000s are a bit of a mad generation because they got kind of caught in the technology and social media kind of shit. Um, so yeah, they're going to be needing quite um, a lot of guidance. I'm not saying, um, yeah, just you're being guided to help teenagers and young children is what I'm getting. So 
So whatever you're being called to do, um, just go with it. And some of you may be in, being called to step outside your comfort zone as well to achieve this. Um, and then the next card is fairness. And then the card says this situation in, this situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So whatever situation um, <coughs> situation that you you are currently in, um, there's going to be some of these may be Libras is what I'm getting from this as well. Um, some of these may have past lives in Egypt, but um, if that you have are having any situations that are um, you think that are kind of out of your hands and you're waiting to hear back maybe. Um, from the council or the housing or um, some of these may be getting something in writing or a letter or an email and things are going to be working in your favor should I say like if you've been um, I don't know if the council's done you wrong or whatever you've been waiting to, I'm getting more council um, yeah so something may or even at work maybe um, yeah things are going to work out in your favor Okay. And then the next card is focused intention. And then the card says, keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. So um, stay focused um, and keep your eye on the end goal. Um, on any road that you're on in this lifetime, there's gonna be obstacles. Um, try not to see the obstacles as problems, see, see them more as challenges, um, even though when you're experiencing it, it's not always pleasant. Some of them life lessons and some of them challenges arise, but um, they're there for your growth. They're there to make you stronger and there to for your soul's evolution, man. Um, but yeah, keep your eyes on the main goal and um, and just keep that. Yeah, keep your eyes on the main goal and work towards that goal and w work around obstacles um, and find ways to deal with the obstacles, but still have your main goal in mind. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, let's pull one more card as well. <coughs> Alright, and then the last card is independence. And then the card says, your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. Um, so yeah, some of these are very independent. Um, and you need to focus on your strengths, not your weaknesses. Um, some of you, people admire you from, for your strength and your independence. Um, without you even realizing it so you may have people watching you on social media or just watching you in general how, how you, um, you I don't know you may be getting beat down beat down beat down but you still get up and still crack on if that makes sense so that's a form of strength um, and, and people are watching and um, and seeing how you how you handle situations as well um, so yeah just yeah focus on your strengths um, And being oh yeah also if you're independent don't you don't always have to do it all on your own always you can you can ask for help asking for help is a sign of strength not weakness just to let you know um, but yeah that's your reading guys very I love I'm done I'm getting real good energy from this reading man so where are the collectives at now you you're experiencing um, may, may, maybe experiencing some challenges but it, all in all it's just pretty smooth anyway man um, but yeah guys, if you like the video, like, share, subscribe, don't be shy, hit that little bell thingy um, so you get notified when I hit you guys up with a reading, um, a life lesson or a channeled message um, from other beings. Um, if any of you are interested in a personal reading, you can send me an email or a DM on Instagram. Um, and yeah man, yeah that's it guys. Anyway, um, peace, love and light tribe and I'm going to hit you guys up real soon. Thanks for watching.